all right guys welcome back to another video it is pouring down with rain yeah today i wanted to touch on a topic that came up into my news feed the other day and they're getting rid of the cbt well they're not getting rid of it they're making it so you can only have it for two years now and you can't renew it so you'd have to do your cbt two years then there's a new thing called the cbt plus which is like your final assessment on the cbt which lasts another two years and then after that depending on how old you are you go on and do your final exam whether that be for the a1 which is up to 125 do that at 16. if you're 18 it's a2 and then if you're either 20 with your a2 for two years you can then go on to do your full and then at 21 you can now go straight on to the big boy bikes which is down from uh, 24. it's a good change in my opinion there's a lot of people just out riding on cbts and not getting further training and i know people have been on their cbt for about 10 years they're not bad riders but they could still learn a bit from the um the full exam yeah in regards to the exam as well they want to change it from mod one mod two and make it into a single assessment there wasn't much information on what the single assessment would involve i'll put a link to the full article in the description it's not an article it's a proposal it was proposed by the mcia which is the motorcycle something industry association i think it's just a body that governs the whole motorcycles i guess you could say and the reason for the change is for the whole net zero thing that's coming up to do with having more electric vehicles out on the road there was a bunch more categories added as well such as if you're 14 you can now ride well not now but when it gets released it's going to be 14 you can ride an electric scooter or an electric moped up to one kilowatt of power which is about i think it's 21.7 miles an hour which in my opinion is pretty cool um i don't know if you should be on the road at 14 but having that ability to have a form of transport at that age to me is pretty cool and then you have quad bikes there's one for light quad bikes there's one for free wheel free wheeled vehicles there's one for like really light cars i don't know what they meant by light cars i don't know if that's like a, a smart car or or what but there's another category for that but yeah i think it's a well-needed change um the st statistics were there was 47,000 people taking their their mod 2 every year and then there was 180,000 CBTs being issued every year I don't know how this is going to affect delivery drivers because they only really need a, a CBT but now they're going to have to do their full test after technically four years but yeah what they're trying to do is make people have a more progressive experience that is so boggy a more progressive experience so they learn more and they're not having people jump straight out onto the big bikes i think even if you go for your full license now you still have to do the cbt the cbt plus your fury of course but yeah guys let me know what you think in the comments in my opinion it's a good change we'll have better and improved riders out on the road and I will also, I think it will bring more people into the motorcycle community as well. Because for me, right, like, at the start, it's like, oh, you've got to do your CBT, and then you've got to do your Fury, and you've got to do your um, Mod 1, Mod 2 to get your A2, and then Mod 1, Mod 2 again for your full license. Like, it's a lot, and it's also not very... I say it's not very clear because it's quite clear what you have to do but it's quite a daunting experience in my opinion it's really going to affect the delivery delivery community though so they get four years and then they have to actually take their test 
But yeah guys, I definitely recommend giving the article a read. It's only proposed, it's not set in stone yet, so there could be changes. But so far to me it looks good. There's a lot more opportunities for younger people to get out and ride. Even if they are only doing 21 miles an hour. That's all you need if you're in London, to be honest. But then I also don't know how I feel about a 14 year old riding on the road. Like, to me that's not right. But yeah, the argument was because when we was in the EU, you have to do the whole free stage system or whatever it was. And they want to go back to what it was before. Which was the single assessment. But yeah guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate all of you. Again, let me know in the comments what you think of the changes. I will link the proposal in the description. I will link the visor down news article in the description for you guys to read. And yeah, good luck, ride safe. Peace.